These things are uh, heavy. These are two vintage uh, chucks that I bought from a guy that scraps uh, old machines to make some extra money. It's the same guy that sold me the uh, black lathe and he also inspired me to buy the uh, blue smurf lathe when I uh, saw he was bidding on it. I guess I was feeling a bit guilty for uh, parting out an old machine myself. Uh, guilty but uh, not sorry. This here is a uh, Wesselmann, most likely from Germany or uh, Austria. And this one here is a uh, Bergmans uh, from Sweden. Not much I can find about these uh, brands on the internet, but it's uh, probably been a long time since uh, either of these made uh, their last chuck. Both of these uh, chucks look uh, pretty beat up and uh, probably had a hard life. The jaws on both chucks are uh, rather bell mouthed. Lucky for me, the uh, outside jaws look a lot better, and uh, those are the ones I need to uh, turn down this uh, lump of steel. This here is uh, slightly shy of uh, 130 millimeter, and uh, that's just a little bit too big to hold in the 125 millimeter chuck on my uh, Chinese lathe. But if I can uh, face one side and uh, turn it down a little, it uh, probably will be fine. Um, I need to hold it in the uh, Chinese lathe so I can uh, cut some thread. Because this piece of uh, scraptonium is going to be a screw on backing plate for a 125 millimeter four jaw chuck. I uh, found at the local flea market. Um, it's hard to tell which one of these uh, is the better chuck. But I'm going to mount this one first because it has the uh, biggest register of the two. If it turns out to be uh, total garbage I can always turn down the register and fit the, the other chuck. And on this here, I'm going to uh, mount the uh, chuck. It's a uh, faceplate that used to belong to my uh, old uh, wood turning lathe, but it also fits the uh, smurf lathe, and uh, I don't think I will ever need to use it as a faceplate. Besides, I also have a faceplate for my uh, Chinese lathe, and uh, I've never used that uh, so far. This looks to be made up of uh, two pieces of metal uh, braced together. And it looks like this uh, threaded part here is a uh, cast iron and this seems to be uh, made out of steel. But I think it will be uh, strong enough. Uh, but we'll see if it uh, comes flying off. I was uh, wrong. That must be the uh, work of the uh, infamous uh, metal worm I keep hearing stories about. I have a feeling that this uh, faceplate uh, was never used because uh, there's only these uh, tiny holes. Well, at least it uh, spins. The uh, first thing I need to do is turn down the OD of the faceplate to 19.1 uh, millimeter, which actually is seven and a half inches and that's probably a good indicator that these are uh, really old uh, chucks because uh, both Sweden and uh, uh, Germany haven't been using the metric system for more than at least a hundred years. Um, 
This will also be a good uh, test for the uh, new frequency drive because with this uh, big diameter I will probably need to run it at a uh, very slow speed and hopefully it uh, will have uh, enough torque to uh, get things done. Of course I could uh, leave the uh, faceplate as it is but uh, I don't like the look of a uh, chuck mounted to a faceplate so I have decided to uh, turn this down. Uh, Alright let's do this. The uh, sound that you hear is a uh, high spot in the faceplate that is hitting the uh, cross light. I'm using a uh, carbide so I can run this a bit faster. That's almost uh, 200 RPM. things up. Ah, that's uh, surprising. I thought this was uh, steel, but it isn't. That's going to be a mess. Looks like I need to uh, tighten up the belt. I have uh, tightened up the belt. So let's uh, continue making some mess. Oh man, this really is a dirty job. I don't like it one bit. New plan, new setup. This is a left hand tool with a uh, insert that has a smaller radius. Let's see how this goes. like it. Let's change the angle of the uh, tool bit. Something like this.
Well, that seems to be working a little better, and uh, most of the uh, dust is disappearing in the uh, vacuum, which, by the way, is a, a regular uh, household uh, vacuum uh, cleaner. I'm hoping it will survive this, although it has uh, survived a lot in the years that I had it. Um, I will continue uh, turning this down. I got about uh, two more centimeters to go. I will uh, report back later if something interesting happens. I got it down to 19 and a half uh, centimeters. Um, and that's uh, 0.4 of a centimeter to go. But this is uh, harder than I thought it would be. Um, about 10 passes ago I flipped over the insert and uh, that helped for a while but it's already uh, getting worse again and uh, the last bit here seems to be rolling over and there's quite a big uh, spring pass but that's uh, probably down to uh, the rigidity of the uh, lathe or the uh, lack of uh, rigidity let's uh, take a few more passes It definitely looks like uh, this uh, insert is uh, spent. It's a lot harder to cut uh, cast iron than I thought it would be. Um, I'm going to try a piece of high speed steel uh, just to uh, see how that uh, works out. I will be running the lathe at uh, 100 RPM. still as rough as 80 grit sandpaper and I could take only a very light cut I guess this uh, pointy bit will dig in quicker than a uh, carbide insert yeah that's uh, still 80 grit sandpaper but it might be a little better than with the carbide insert and now it's uh, 60 grit. Well that certainly wasn't uh, perfect but I think I will use this uh, tool to cut the uh, register. Well I'm down to the uh, size I more or less need so now it's time to start cutting the uh, register and that means uh, turning down this side uh, for about uh, six and a half millimeter and then two, two and a half millimeter deep Well, that's not working. I'm going to change the angle on the tool bit a bit. We had some uh, great weather this week and I've been ignoring my uh, YouTube commitment. It was actually warmer outside than it was in the old barn. Anyway, now it's uh, time to finish uh, this project 
and make another uh, movie. Otherwise I won't uh, earn enough advertising money to buy myself a little milling machine this year. Um, last week I forgot all about uh, the uh, torque compensation setting in my uh, new little uh, frequency drive. So I just set uh, parameter P72 to uh, 50. I don't know what 50 means but uh, it does seem to work. As a result of this uh, parameter change I can now take a significant bigger cut before I stall the lathe and that uh, should make things a little easier. In a uh, attempt to get a better surface finish I ran the lathe at a higher speed and burned up the uh, um, high speed uh, tool bit. So now I'm going to try this uh, braced on carbide or a Vidia tool bit that I uh, just sharpened up on the green oil. Let's see if uh, this will give me a better surface finish. That is uh, better. Although I did need to take a couple of spring passes. Um, let's try and uh, test fit uh, the chuck. See how far off I am. Huh. That's not bad. I'm pretty close. And that's with only using a ruler. Because my calipers are not big enough to measure the register. I, uh, I did buy bigger calipers. But those are so bad they are uh, pretty much unusable. I'll uh, show you just for fun. Well, uh, fun. It's actually pretty sad that they uh, dare to sell this on eBay. Now keep in mind that I wasn't expecting a precision instrument for uh, 9 pounds. But uh, I thought uh, it would be good enough to uh, transfer the inside register diameter to the outside register size on the uh, backing plate. But uh, these are so bad that a uh, ruler probably works uh, better. Look at the amount of slop. It's terrible. And uh, the zero mark doesn't even line up. But that's not a big problem uh, for me. Anyway, after some uh, complaining and threatening to enlist the help of uh, PayPal, I uh, got my uh, money back. I guess I'll have to adjust my expectations on uh, buying cheap crap from the internet. Uh, enough complaining, let's uh, continue. There are uh, two ways I can mount this uh, chuck. I could make it so that the uh, backing plate will rest on the outside. Or I could uh, remove a bit more material so the backing plate will sit on the inside here where uh, the bolts uh, also are. I could also try and turn it in such a way that the backing plate will sit on both uh, of these surfaces but uh, that will probably be way too hard. I think this is a rather uh, confusing uh, setup. Why aren't the bolts on the outside just like a normal chuck? Anyway, I've uh, decided to seat the uh, backing plate on the outer part of the uh, chuck. That way I don't have to uh, face uh, this part on the backing plate. If this doesn't work out, I can always uh, turn down this uh, outer part and uh, this will give me uh, two shots at uh, getting things right. I hope.
took uh, lots of uh, very light cuts and uh, lots of time but I finally got a nice fitting register and that was the whole plan so next I'm going to uh, scribe a bolt circle on here and uh, then uh, divide it into six and drill some uh, bolt holes so this uh, bolt circle is about uh, 12 and a half millimeter from the outside that probably is a little bit of a uh, measurement error uh, it's pretty hard to measure from the outside of the chuck to the middle of a threaded hole but this uh, should be close and uh, I can always drill the uh, holes a little oversized that shouldn't matter I probably have to because uh, the bolts are imperial and I don't have any uh, imperial drill bits need more power that will do it I divided the uh, faceplate into uh, six slices using uh, my divider and hopefully I did a good job so uh, let's drill some holes starting to hate his uh, cast iron stuff well four more to go but I uh, won't bore you with that these are uh, the bolts I bought for this uh, project and I even bought some uh, matching washers I actually spent more money on the uh, bolts and the washers than on the old uh, chuck but I guess I have to uh, pay if I uh, want to play these are um, some flavor of imperial bolts a uh, fraction of an inch while in fact they are 7.7 millimeter I will try and uh, drill these holes uh, 8 millimeter who knows maybe I did a good job and uh, I get lucky and it fits but I probably have to enlarge the holes to uh, 8.5 millimeter I lost uh, confidence in my work so this is a 8.5 uh, millimeter drill bit well at least it's not magnetic but what a mess well five more to go but uh, I'll do that uh, off camera everything is uh, cleaned up and I uh, chamfered the holes so now it's time uh, to find out if I did a good job will there be rejoicing or will there be cursing let's find out I 
have to line up the holes a little better. Something like this. That's going in. That one doesn't. Now it does. It feels a little tight. That's okay. Also a bit tight. Alright, I'll have a closer look. I had to uh, rotate the uh, backing plate a little. But now they all uh, screw in fairly easy. I'm not sure if uh, the holes are clean all the way down, but I'll find out. Well, that hole is plenty deep. First time in my life I regret not having any uh, Imperial tools. With the help of a bit of oil and some uh, careful uh, persuasion all the uh, bolts got uh, threaded all the way down and I'm pretty happy with the uh, results. I actually did a little victory dance which is uh, not on camera of course. Now I have to uh, take them all out again so I can uh, put back the uh, guts of the chuck. Alright, I will uh, tighten this down. Too bad I don't have a uh, fitting uh, socket so I can uh, torque them. Uh, I was going to say to spec, but uh, I don't have a, a spec. 50 Newton meter will probably do it. I uh, tightened up the bolts with my uh, little crescent wrench as hard as I could. It's not the same as using a uh, torque wrench but it will do. Two, three, one. So now I can enjoy the fruits of my labor. But uh, that's something for another video to be continued. Now I want to take the opportunity to uh, complain a bit about the uh, Banggood Affiliates program. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to buy more of their uh, crap. 
because lately I've been earning about uh, 30 or 40 euros a month and that's a lot more than uh, I did last summer. It's not a big amount but uh, it's enough for most of the stuff I need to make uh, some videos and who knows at some point I might actually be able to buy some uh, decent collets. Um, I still haven't broken uh, the monthly earnings record from uh, January 2018 but I would have if uh, Banggood was true to their word or had fixed a little problem within a reasonable time period. Let me explain. There are three different affiliate levels uh, Standard, Premium and uh, VIP. I am at the uh, Standard level and uh, get about 5% commission for the junk you guys buy through the uh, affiliated links in the uh, description below my videos. Um, some products are worth a bit more commission and some a bit less but on average it's about 5% uh, for me and it actually used to be lower about 4.5% but uh, at some point last year they made a change uh, to the commission uh, percentage levels um, anyway I'm deviating as a uh, standard affiliate once you've sold $8,000 in goods you should be able to upgrade to the uh, premium level and start earning 2% uh, more commission and that's about 40% more, so I would have easily broken my old uh, monthly record. Um, according to the uh, Banggood uh, help pages, there should be an upgrade button in the uh, My Center uh, page. But this button uh, just isn't there. I checked on different computers and even uh, changed my web browser. No upgrade button or link to be seen anywhere. So after a while, I filled out the uh, affiliates help uh, form on the uh, Banggood webpage. I actually did this uh, three times but never got a uh, response. Um, next I sent an email to the Banggood affiliates mail address and actually got a response the uh, next day asking for a screenshot uh, from the uh, My Center page and uh, that's the one you're now looking at. I guess they uh, wanted proof that I uh, hadn't overlooked the so-called upgrade button a couple of weeks later, and no further email replies, I sent them a uh, follow-up email that uh, I'm getting disappointed with their uh, responsiveness, their lack of responsiveness. That's now two weeks ago and still no word from Banggood. In the uh, meanwhile, I've passed the uh, $10,000 in sales and that's uh, $40 in extra earnings that I uh, should have had. I know it's uh, peanuts but for me it's the principle that matters. This is not how you treat people. Why the uh, stalling or are they just incompetent? Must be because uh, competent people will just automate this uh, procedure. Maybe they uh, really like uh, frustrating people. Anyway, if uh, anyone is still out there, thanks for listening. It uh, kinda feels good to get this uh, off my chest.